Hey, how's it going guys? This is Callum here from Syncraft, and as you can see, I'm watching a beautiful sunset in a brand new Minecraft world. And when I say brand new, I mean not brand new at all. Uh, this is my sort of starting house I've recently made. I basically thought that I wanted to make a new Minecraft series, but I know that we've, us even in Syncraft, have been through this whole starting up system before. And I knew you guys probably didn't want to see the whole mining wood for the first time and getting your first stone pickaxe and all that. So I decided I'd make sort of the starting part to my world and um, basically record the, my progress from there. And my objective here is just to make some creative builds and some interesting new things that you might not have seen before and to figure out what's going on in the new Minecraft 1.7 because... I haven't actually played this game since the release of 1.0, I think, which was ages ago. And so there's going to be a lot of new things for me to discover, a lot of things that you guys might already know about, so I'm probably going to look on the wiki so you don't get frustrated at me because I'm noob to this game now. And uh, as you can see, I've made like a cool staircase here, um, which goes down from my main living room to into this sort of cave, which is underneath like the mountain this is based on. As you can see, I've made a small mine already, and when I say small, I mean quite big. Um, that's that's kind of just like one hole which led to like one cave that I found but I had to dig down that far to find one cave. I've got a few furnaces underground here, that's a little staircase going up to it. And uh, that's eventually going to be my chest room but I think I haven't actually done anything to that yet. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've got so far, that iron door is I'm incapable of passing through it apart from the other side. I basically built that because I can get down to there from here, but when I'm down there I can't get up here very well. Well, you sort of can climb up, but it's a bit awkward. And I don't want mobs just casually rolling up some staircase that I make, because mobs are super like advanced now. I was in a cave earlier, and I could hear zombies in a cave that was like miles away, and somehow they managed to like track me down. But I don't even know, seriously. So the first thing I've always kind of wanted to build was a... Uh, sort of like an underground mine but to have a minecart that ran through it so that you could send down ore and you could run the minecraft the minecart around and get down there faster and stuff like that and so that's going to be my first objective I think so in order to achieve that objective I need to first start making some minecarts I believe if I'm not mistaken that requires sticks and iron but in what combination? Oh, I can take a wild guess from ages ago. I hope this is right. Nope. Uh, wiki dump. Okay, so I don't need the wiki I worked out. It was the other way around. I remember that Minecraft is always freaking stingy with the amount of materials you use, so why wouldn't it be the amazing iron that you have to use freaking six times? Anyway, um,. So, I've already got lead iron tools, I thought I might as well just use a ton on these rail carts. And I also, I do actually have some gold. I believe, I just need to get the iron back. I believe it goes something like this. <sighs> no. No. So, as it turns out, uh, it is actually all gold blocks there, there 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 and stick in the middle but you actually need a bit of redstone as well which I do not possess yet but I do possess a potato which is something that I didn't know existed until now I think the new items I've seen so far are lilac and potato and that's about it really but uh, yeah but I did learn some cool things I th apparently there's a new type of minecart which lets you sort of like it's a minecart that will pass by and pick up items that are on the floor which sounds really cool and also the uh, TNT minecart the minecart you can send down like some sort of suicide bomber or something that sounds pretty damn cool but uh... so I think I'm gonna start my minecart, minecart somewhere around here um, I basically want to dig out somewhere somewhere which yeah I could I could dig like a separate separate entrance down here and I basically wanna start digging it down a bit I'm gonna make like sort of like a mini mini underground minecart station so 
That should be pretty cool. I'm just gonna lay down a torch. I think one thing you'll find with me when watching me play mine Minecraft. Ooh. I seem to have broken into here. Uh I'll fix that there. Um is that whenever I play it, uh I tend to be very, very, very sort of I don't wanna say O C D but I like to, everything to be pretty symmetrical and to actually look good. It's like a vital part of it for me. I think some people don't mind making just like a mud hut with a bit of gravel on the wall and stuff like that, but everything has to be exact. Which is a good thing, I suppose. It makes everything look good. Right. Actually, I'm going to carry on digging like this. So, I'm picturing like the minecart track might start somewhere like here be a little ramp that starts and then we'll go along here a bit it's like sort of like the station and um, and I want it to be like circular so it'll go down through the mine through the mine and then round somewhere and then up and then come back here as well which I think would be really cool so I'm going to do my best to do that I think this sort of uh, this project might involve a lot of uh, just simply mining, so I'm probably going to end up cutting out parts of this and when I've got nothing interesting to say. Just sort of skip forward a bit, so if you notice any skips, that's probably why. Uh, okay, so I like to... Example number one of my OCDness. And this is a this is a prime example of why of why I'm so incredibly like picky about what happens. I always end up making regular stone when I'm making stuff in a mine. You'll see there's smooth stone everywhere. And so everything else has to be smooth stone, otherwise it's just wrong. So I'm actually gonna place it like this. And that looks pretty cool. And I'll end up any any gaps that are in it, obviously this isn't finished yet so I might end up digging that out anyway. So I'll leave it for now. But uh any gaps in the end, I'm probably going to end up replacing with smooth stone. So it all looks nice. Right. And that is the start of minecart track. Okay. So I suppose my objective number one right now is to actually dig this out until I find an actual cave system. Because I want the minecart to actually run through a cave system instead of me just having to mine out this massive track. So. Basically, it's time to go mining.